This video demonstrates how to create a standalone bibliography using Zotero. Here I am in the desktop version of Zotero. I've opened up the software and navigated to a collection uh, for which I want to create a freestanding bibliography. This folder contains a mix of books and articles, and I simply want a list of all these resources. So I have highlighted that folder and I'm going to do a right click and select the option create bibliography from collection. A box pops up giving me options for what citation style I want to use for this bibliography. My default is already set to APA 7th edition. If I wanted to change that I could pick an alternative style from this list, or I could head over to Manage Styles uh, for many more options. For my output mode below, the default is already Bibliography. For output method, I have several choices. I could save it as an RTF file. This is a file type that can be opened up by Microsoft Word as well as other word processing programs. I could save it as HTML, copy it to the clipboard, which means that I could paste it um, in the document of my choice, or I could go straight ahead and print it. I am going to go ahead and save this as an RTF file and hit OK. I have the option of saving it. Uh, I could navigate to another file location, um, whatever I'd like to do. I am going to go ahead and save this on the desktop. And in a moment, I will show you what Zotero has created for me. Here it is a bibliography that includes every single source that was in the folder I chose back in Zotero. Now I can print it, annotate it, and or share it with someone else. Just a note, if you spot errors such as capitalization, omitted information, etc., it's important to correct them back in the Zotero library in the desktop application not in this bibliography document. If you correct them only in the bibliography you generated with Zotero, the same errors will keep cropping up in documents you create using Zotero. So, uh, for instance, if you see a citation that has all capital letters um, for uh, that's in um, title case, the article's in title case, um, when it should be in sentence case. Uh, I could make a quick fix here if I wanted to, but if I wanted a more permanent fix, I would have to go back um, to the Zotero library. So Zotero can save you a lot of time in various stages of your research. You may also want to check out Cook Library's video on using Zotero to cite in Microsoft Word. That way, you be, uh, while you're writing a paper, you would be able to generate in-text citations or footnotes or endnotes and a bibliography um, together um, in Microsoft Word. Do you have other questions about using Zotero? Towson University's Cook Library can help. Contact Brittany Ballard or Shauna Gass. Brittany's email is bballard at towson.edu. Shauna's email is sgas at towson.edu. Have questions that go beyond Zotero? Visit bit.ly forward slash tu ask a librarian to get assistance in whatever format you prefer, from chat and text to phone and video conference calls. And with that, thanks for watching and happy researching.